Hi everybody, today I'm working on a PNY unit, uh, looks like this, 32 gigabyte capacity. I'm not even going to start it up, I'll show you uh, why in a second. Let's see, underneath the microscope, the casing has this bulge right here. The controller is burnt, completely blown out. You can see that fairly easily, right there. So we're either gonna find the same device. I might have it. Um, I have a bunch of Fison devices. We can maybe swap out the controller itself if we find the same controller. Or we can swap out the NAND to the donor if we find the same device. What is this short on the controller doing to the rest of the circuit? First things first, we're gonna find out what's going on with our power input and the ground. Nothing. And that's good. We have a short right here. So first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna take out this controller and see if the short is gonna go away on that capacitor that we just tested and that was bad because the capacitor may still be good um, actually I'm gonna before I take out the controller let me see if maybe that capacitor was the cause of the issue it's gonna be easier to take out the capacitor yeah, taking out the capacitor is definitely going to be easier than taking out the whole controller. Just this one here. Tweezers like that. We'll get that thing out of there in no time. Yeah, we're in short. So that's not the uh, that's not the component that's causing it. The component just happens to be uh, on that same rail.
and uh, we're gonna clean up this last part here so the controller is removed and cleaned once we, we take out the controller we got to make sure that the, the short is also gone because what if it's not just the controller that was bad if there was something else if there is something else we need to take care of it before we try to repair this board try to save this board I'm thinking the design of it I may have something but I definitely have controllers like that controller is way def definitely easier to find in this case than um, than the entire board to be matching so let's see there's our device grab my tester my gut says that this capacitor is not gonna be in short anymore once we test it now you ready one two three No, it's not in short. You see? It's not in short. Great. So the board is probably fixed. We just need a new controller. Let's see what type of controller this is. BS22509V, I guess. Yeah, that's it. Alright. I'm going to get to uh, searching through boxes and boxes of flash drives. One hour later. I went through like three boxes of devices and I finally found a matching controller, 51-09-V. Uh, one thing to note is that it's a USB 3 controller. Uh, so looking for it definitely sped up once I figured uh, that uh, it uses a specific Fison connector for the most part. You see, uh, Fison connectors, they are slightly different from uh, other types of 9-pin, regular type of 9-pin connectors. If we have them side by side, we see the spacing between the pads is different. And also their um, positioning on board is different. So uh, if you get a case that has a connector like this, do not mount a generic connector to it. You're gonna fry the unit. So, what I wanna do uh, here is take the NAND uh, off of here and put it here. Mm, simple enough. But before we do that, I wanna make sure that this unit is functional. Plug it in. And power on our device yeah it's coming up consuming 50 milliamps um, I see the device on the screen I'll even show you there we have it the only thing is is oh finally it mounted anyways we're gonna assume our controller is good I have no other controller so I really have no other choice I can either take out the memory and work with it directly or I can take out the controller and just redo the controller
All right. That's it. That's all. Let's clean up the board and test it. I'm excited to see what will happen. Are we going to see some fireworks? Probably not. Probably just not going to get recognized. Worst comes to worst. But I have a very good feeling that it will will just work like nothing ever been broken on and that's gonna be a good day for this flash drive All right, so um, let's get the adapters in place. Oh, here's how we're gonna do it. We're just gonna keep the deep spar unit upside down. And get rid of this. And on our screen, the moment of truth, power up. We got the capacity, we got the project mount. Let's see if we're gonna get our data. From what I can see, we will get it. There it is, guys. If we go into hex view, and let's have a look like you see here, MS-DOS. This is good. There's, there, there's our data. Oh wow, amazing. What's next, you may ask? Well, I'm just gonna clone it real quick, just cause, um, you know, I don't know. Um, why not? Gotta make a clone. To clone it, I'll hook up PC3000 portable. To this end of things. and start the task. So this was connected through external source, so we don't need to um, make, uh, we don't need to select any ports. Um, I'm gonna go into data extractor, create a task. Uh, task is called 8111, right? That was the number for it. Yeah, and we pick this unit as our source, make copy into virtual disk, sure, why not, and we uh, can start imaging, there she goes, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a fully functional flash drive that is going to replicate everything that's on there uh, in approximately um, approximately one hour it's running at six megabyte speed it's probably because of the cable it could run much faster but I'm not in a rush and this uh, is lunch hour anyways so thank you for watching this episode guys I am going to call the client and let him know the good news this thing I'm gonna keep it for the treasury set it up right there and uh, yeah thank you very much I hope you enjoyed this episode if you have any questions drop them in the comments below and I'll see you all in the next episode guys thanks